Well, Sheeds, what was it about Timmy Watson that made him such a great player? Well, look, uh, very, very good uh, painting of him there. And he, he was just a young, exuberant young footballer that uh, he just hit the scene. And um, the guy was lucky to coach him when he was about 20. And, of course, he played about three or four years before I got to Western. And uh, he could run, he had speed, he had uh, power. And um, his ball-winning ability was uh, fantastic, particularly when he started to mature into a really fine player. And, and a lot of people would come to see him play. I mean, the guy was six foot three, which is, you know, enormous size to, to be carrying around. Um, uh, and, and a pretty big frame player. I mean, I actually most rove him sometimes he had that much speed um, he could carry the ball and he could run into to space you're going to have courage to run with the ball a lot of people don't realize that and he had that capacity he could mark he ended up a fantastic kick um, and but you know he had to work at his game but he had that raw ability to uh, break out into open spaces um, brush people away you know, all the sorts of things I used to love to think I could do myself but could never do it. And one of the great things about, um, you know, particularly coaching not only Tim but a lot of the players is that um, and most of the players that I coached were better players than myself, you know. So, and he was one of them. He was just a fantastic player for the club. What sort of role did he play in those premiership years of 84 and 85 and then as a uh, coming back to feature in 93? Well, I'm glad that uh, he came back because we needed to uh, have a more mature player too that can help the young guys and help Mark Thompson and uh, Mark Harvey, David Grinvold and Paul Sam and these other boys that were the experienced players. Um, and he deserved that because he got knocked out in, in uh, an early grand final 10 years earlier. And so therefore he wouldn't remember much about that, you know. So, look, it was really good to see him get back into a grand final. And um, and when he did come back, uh, and when he did play in 84 and 5, the back-to-back -back premierships, uh, I just think that in the end he was a player that um, would have probably unnerved Hawthorne in regard to his speed. We always felt that we could get Hawthorne in the last quarter and, and, and smash him, and we, we did. And it was because of Tim's um, repetitive speed in the end was an asset to the, the team and the club. And of course, we didn't have a lot of speed other than Darren Williams and a player like Tim, but we had him in the right spot. And of course, um, then you could put in a Leon Baker who wouldn't be as fast or Terry Danaher and these sorts of players. So having a tall running player, pretty much similar to what they got today, Fife and those sort of players, is probably what Tim Watson was.